Now we come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery challenger, for which my friends on the panel, as you all know, are always blindfolded. Are the blindfolds in place, panel? Yes. yes. Good. Will you come in, mystery challenger, and sign in, please? panel, as you know, in the case of our mystery challenger, we go to a different form of questioning. You ask one question at a time, in turn, moving clockwise, and we begin with Arlene Francis. Would your name be on the entertainment pages of the newspaper? I would say yes. Mr. Sir? Have you ever been, or are you at present, in a play that is running on Broadway? No. One down and nine to go, Miss Kilgallen. Was that a yes or a no, John? That was a no. Oh. Uh, were you born somewhere other than the United States? No. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Vidal. Are you most associated with television? No. Three down and seven to go, Miss Francis. Well, are you most associated with motion pictures? Yes. Mr. Oh. Sir. Is there a picture in which you appear currently running in one of the big on or just off Broadway theaters? No. Four down and six to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, do you do anything besides performing films? I mean, do you do anything musical, such as singing or playing an instrument? Mm, yes. Miss yes? Vidal? Mm -hmm. Are you mm. a, uh, a leading man at present? Of sorts. Miss <laughs> Francis? Have you been in pictures for more than 10 years? Oh, yes. <laughs> Mr. Sir? Are you married to a lady who is also in the public eye? No. Five down and five to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, I'd like to get back to music. Do you sing? After a fashion. Mr. Vidal? Um, I pass. Miss Francis? Well, are you primarily known as a dramatic actor? Hmm, yes. Mr. Sir? <laughs> uh, are you very capable in physical achievements as well as acting? Has been said. Well, I, I can't it has been said. Ms. Kilgallen? Uh, are you currently... Oh, excuse me, John, but uh, could we backtrack? Has it been established that he's not currently appearing in a play on Broadway? Yes. yes. Oh. No play, no picture. No, no play, no picture. No not television. It's not a work. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, do you dance? Yes. Mr. Uh, Vidal? Did you uh, ever win an Academy Award? Yes. Miss Francis? Yes. That's all. Is a picture of yours about to open on Broadway? No. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Dancing. 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 Uh, but he's dramatic. But he's Miss Arlene, dramatic. so that you're not misled, what do you mean by about? Well, I mean within the next month, has he uh, uh, been making a picture that will open soon? You know, one of those... Uh, soon to yes, be released yes. motion picture. Oh, yes, you are? Yes, yes, oh, well, yes. I'm glad for you. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sir? Uh, did you get your Academy Award for a picture that contains singing and dancing in it? Yes. Are you Fred Astaire? No. Six down and four to go, Mr. Vidal. Are you Gene Kelly? No. Seven down and three to go, Miss Francis? But he's not primarily a singer and dancer. Singing and dancing and dramatic. Oh, isn't this <gasps> agony? Dorothy, has something come over you? No, I was just agonizing for you, Dorothy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, have you done pictures that are uh, uh, biographies of people? Yes. Yes? Sir? Yes. Singing and dancing biographies. Oh, isn't it awful? Awful. awful yes. uh, Let's get his height. Was the picture Gigi? Was the picture Gigi? No. Eight down and two to go, Miss Kilgallen. Are you over six feet tall? Paul. 
far from it. <laughs> Nine down and one to go, Mr. Vidal. Are you over five feet tall? <laughs> a whisker. <laughs> I don't know. I'm you want to, you want to have take a conference? Do you want to have it? If you need no, it. I, I bet Bennett then I thought he heard that. something. Right. Was, was the picture that you won, won the award for it, were you portraying the part of George M. Cohen? Are you yes. Jimmy Cagney? Yes. yes. All we needed was one more, and of course the picture is, oh, is uh, Halsey. Both Jim Halsey, Halsey and yes. I've seen actually seen some advertisements for it, Jim. If I may say so, it, the the likeness is astonishing when you're in uniform, you know. Yes, it's quite quite remarkable. Yes. I know. Yes. Yes. I'm very lucky that way. We could supply the eyebrows. <laughs> and we were being very honest with you because I said to Jim, "Isn't uh, Bull Halsey's picture what what is the name of it? The Gallant Hours. The Gallant Hours." Yes. Isn't it going to open in New York soon? He said, well, not for a month, so I'll give her a no. <coughs> so he gave you a break. <laughs> he gave you a break. You did yeah. it with Bob, Bun Bob Montgomery. That's right. Mm -hmm. He directed it. Anyway, That's you're it. a marvelous performer, and we don't see nearly enough of you on the screen, and I'm delighted yes. to have you. And I, I might add, at the risk of being accused of plugging things, that Admiral Bull Halsey was one of the great fighting men of our history. It's a wonderful story about a wonderful man, and as Arlene has already noted so adequately, a very fine actor and a fine gentleman playing the part. I think it's going to be a triumph for Thank everybody. Thank you very much. Hope Good so. to have you with us, sir.